was. Anyway, hi everyone, it's Crystal here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting. We will be making some aesthetic DIY room decor. I just thought it'd be fun to try these out and just share some cool and hopefully easy DIY ways for you to spruce up your own room. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, we are kicking off DIY number one with some cool, trendy Spotify album plaques. I've seen these all over TikTok and Pinterest and thought it'd be fun to try it out myself. So here I just bought some 8x10 frames and I took out the glass part for the plaque and then I printed out the music player and Spotify codes for the songs that I wanted. This DIY is super easy because all you have to do is literally trace the player and Spotify code onto the glass. And here I'm just using a white marker that I already had. I'll link it in the description box if you want to use the same one. I really like it because it's pretty opaque and the white shows up very well on the clear plaque and no worries if you smudge anything i just went back with the q-tip while it was still wet to clean up any mistakes once you're done tracing all you have to do is paste the album cover onto the plaque i decided to do it on the back of the plaque just because it looked a lot cleaner and for the first one i used this elmer's craft bond glue but it kind of dried with a mark which i didn't really like so i ended up switching over to this crafter's tape and that one dried completely clear which was perfect Scanning the Spotify code is pretty easy. All you have to do is just open the Spotify app. In the search tab in the upper right hand corner, there should be a little camera icon. If you click on that, it should allow you to scan the Spotify code and automatically start playing your song. Okay, DIY number two is probably my favorite one. It's inspired by those super colorful and trendy clay jewelry dishes you've probably seen everywhere. This is my very ratchet sketch of how I want the dish to look like. Let's see how this manifests. Um, spoiler alert, it did not manifest that way as you guys will see. I started off with this plant pot tray thing that I got at Michael's for less than a dollar and I just decided to paint it this pretty baby blue color as the base and then I went around the rim and painted it this light pink color just to give it some contrast. Now it's time to make those little decorative clay figures. I used air dry clay for this and here I'm just making a little frog to sit on the edge of the tray. This part was probably the most time-consuming portion just because it was such a tedious process of making each of the individual parts of the frog and then also painting it, but I had a ton of fun doing this. I also decided last minute that I wanted to give the frog a little heart to hold, which was just such a cute addition. To help speed up the process of drying, I decided to use a blow dryer and it worked pretty well, honestly, but it was all fun and games until Excuse me, you are not done yet, fam. Gotta draw the eyeballs because this frog needs sight to live. But wait, where is his mouth? How he gonna eat? Anyway, I ended up using a hot glue gun to secure the little heart to the frog, and I was so obsessed with how it turned out. <gasps> that is so cute! Also, I deviated from my little sketch that you guys saw earlier and decided to do a lily pad instead of a mushroom because it was just a lot more simple but still super cute. And then finally, I decided to add some clouds and also a little rainbow to fill the space within the tray and just complete the whole aesthetic. What is this? Isn't it cute? This is so cute. That's so false. I am the cutest. This is how I look like right now. Gotta protect myself from the sun and also from the craft resin. For this DIY, we'll be making some resin coasters and this could have been one of my favorites too, but I think I messed it up a little bit. Basically, you're supposed to mix in equal amounts of epoxy resin and the hardener, but I poured out too much of each solution and then when I tried to mix everything together, it barely fit the cup, which made it kind of hard to stir and therefore I spilled some over the edge. And I think all of that kind of affected how the resin ended up curing, but I just poured a base 
layer of the mixture into the silicone molds and then i just placed some of the dry flowers in kind of a random order whatever floats your boat and then lastly cover it with a second layer of the mixture and just make sure you cover all of the dried flowers the solution might push around the flowers a little bit but i just went back in and used the mixing stick to adjust the placement of the flowers back to where they were originally and it turned out just fine and then i let it cure for like 48 hours but even after that some of the coasters still weren't fully hardened and i think it's honestly because i didn't mix the solution properly but there was one that was decently okay and so i decided to move on with that one and let the other three finish curing i don't know if they ever will um but last thing i did was just paint a gold finishing around the edge just to give it a more elevated sophisticated look it could have turned out better but i think overall it wasn't too bad and still looked really pretty and aesthetic this next project is super cute and trendy we are going to be making the led cloud light that some of you guys might have seen on tiktok so first i took some fairy lights and just wrapped it all around this empty two liter bottle and then once i got to the very end i used some packaging tape to secure the battery pack to the bottle and then here i'm using some invisible wire or string i forget what it's called but i'll link it in the description box but basically when you use this to hang your light it'll look like it's floating in the air like a cloud in real life honestly i would recommend wrapping the string around the bottle itself instead of just taping it just to make sure it's more secure and then lastly i just took a hot glue gun and started oh, gluing so on squishy. some polyfill to give it the final cloud-like look Yeah. Bro, this cloud's so cute. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys got some inspiration or at least some pure entertainment from watching me make these different DIYs. Let me know in the comments down below if you end up making any of these. I feel like overall they're very aesthetic and cute and easy to make. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already subscribed. Also feel free to follow me on my socials. I'm very active on my Instagram, so definitely feel free to head on over there if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Until I see you guys in my next video, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay kind, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!